Hello and a warm welcome to you for our second Arbor Day celebrated at Maersker College. I'm Duncan Slater and I coordinate our Arbor Day efforts at college as part of a wider team. This short presentation summarises what Maersker College has achieved this year in terms of tree planting activities for our Arbor Day. Well, it's been a very difficult time for everyone and this has impacted on our students very much at times. I'm pleased to report that several groups of students were able to come to our main planting site and contribute by planting trees before lockdown three brought in more severe COVID restrictions. I would like to thank all those that helped and planted trees in these difficult times. It's much appreciated by the Arbor Day team. Last year, we planted a total of 1,350 trees and 100 metres of hedgerow for our Arbor Day celebration. Our target this year was to seriously exceed this previous total. Despite all the difficulties with COVID restrictions, this has happened. And I'm really happy, if not ecstatic, that we have achieved the planting of 2,560 woodland trees, 70 standard trees, and created a new hedgerow 85 metres in length only achieve this with the help of our sponsors whom I'll thank shortly. We also look to undertake activities for fundraising to support our two charities, the Arbor Day Foundation with its international reach and the Mersey Forest Foundation which supports our woodland planting. With so much disruption due to Covid it was a difficult time for fundraising but we've managed to raise approximately £500 for these charities an amount we hope to far exceed next year. Having had our inaugural Arbor Day with much interest in February 2020, very fortunately occurring just before we entered lockdown in the UK, we've not been idle. Whilst keeping our connection with sponsors and supporters, we have made delivery of our Arbor Day more robust by creating a small committee group under our banner, Arbor Day UK, and by securing Dan Snow MBE as our patron. You'll find a short video from Dan Snow in our Arbor Day booth in this event alongside many other contributed videos. One of our aims as the Arbor Day UK group was to create a website stating what we're all about and providing information about our activities and achievements. The website has just recently been launched and will be used as a platform for our ongoing work, seeking more people to join us in celebrating an Arbor Day, a day to reflect on the importance of trees, the importance of the arboricultural industry and those that care for trees and, of course, recording the number of trees we've planted. Another of our aims was to spread the celebration of an Arbor Day to at least one other institution in the UK for this year, 2021. This has been a success in a big way. Do you catch Paul Nolan's talk when you see that the idea of celebrating an Arbor Day in the UK has really spread, about which we're very excited. I must thank Marco Bartolini, a member of the Arbor Day UK group, for using his contacts and giving up much of his time to achieve many submissions of videos, guest speakers, and in much other work. Marco is a star, and Arbor Day just wouldn't grow without the level of commitment that he has given. So as well as the guest speakers this event, please do browse through the submitted videos, and I'll be manning the Arbor Day booth. So if you have any questions, I'll be here to answer them for you. We would like to thank our sponsors for this year's Arbor Day plantings. Gold sponsors. The majority of the woodland trees planted this year were sponsored by the Mersey Forest and the Woodland Trust. Silver sponsors. The Arboricultural Company Limited, Ecos Environmental Consultants, the Illinois Arborist Association and Tracy Clark Tree Consultancy all sponsored our tree planting, providing much needed tree planting support and protection equipment and the ability to buy in a further 250 trees and 320 hedge plants, which really added to our main planting site this year, allowing it to be finished with a good density of planting and with more species diversity too. Many thanks go to them. Bronze sponsors were Carpe Diem Gardens and Cheviot Trees, both directly giving donations of tree stock and also Carpe Diem supported the planting and protection of the new hedgerow 
including some plants to provide wildlife friendly edible hedge. I'll just briefly show you some images of our activities this year. Most of our work has focused on the creation of a new 1.5 hectare woodland on the college farm, a site called Rainbow Triangle. So this is an image of Rainbow Triangle from late November with much of the site prepared for planting and about 1,000 of the trees already planted. We've put quite some effort into preparing the ground, putting in drainage ditches and ensuring each tree is planted correctly and mulched to give them a good start. You will find drone footage of the site as a short video in the Arbor Day booth. If you'd like to view more of this site, our main planting site this year. I'm well known for putting together some before and after images. So here is one of the Rainbow Triangle site from August when we started working on the site to December when most of the trees were planted. We look forward to seeing this site becoming valuable habitat and a good carbon store as well as a local landmark. All this planting is dedicated to those key workers and NHS staff that have given our community so much support through this dreadful COVID pandemic. It means so much to give back in this way, in a positive way, by planting for the future. At times through this pandemic, we may lose sight of a better future, but it is there, is possible to put in the effort and create a better future. This is a small piece of evidence that this is true. Last year, we did a fair amount of planting in the local community, which is very much in our Arbor Day spirit. We hope to expand upon it this year. Unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, the opportunity is very limited this year. One standard tree was planted at Carlton Green Primary School, a hornbeam, and pictured as a liquid amber we planted in the new re-green memorial woodland, which commemorates those that have died from COVID-19 during this pandemic. The 70 standard trees we've planted have come from a completed research trial by Dr. Andrew Hirons, supported by the Tree Fund, and the trees supplied by Bartram Trees Limited, J.O. Jones, and Hillier's Nurseries. We thank them all for this large number of standard trees and we hope to plant more into the community for the next Arbor Day, if that is possible. As I already noted, fundraising activities are very limited this year due to the disruption and the Arbor Day UK team did not charge any students with getting sponsored for tree planting or other fundraising activities just as well as when the lockdown returned would not have been feasible for the students to have committed to such activities. I felt that I should still try though to contribute and to continue the great fundraising by the Green Space team and students that had been carried out last year. So I personally committed to losing weight, hoping to lose £60 over six months before our Arbor Day celebration today. This effort brought in about £400 of donations and I'd welcome more. I've managed to lose £56. The last few pounds turned out just to be a bit too difficult to shed before the Arbor Day deadline, but I feel a lot fitter and will make good on those last £4 shortly. Many thanks go to those that supported my efforts to lose weight and raise awareness of our campaign to plant more trees and to take better care of our environment. However, at the end of my short talk, I have to reflect how our Arbor Day last year was so different, how it brought so many groups of students and staff together in multiple acts of tree planting. No need for social distancing then, we could get together for group pictures like this one and really enjoy the experience. experience. I'm sure we are all looking forward to the days when this will be possible again. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support of our Arbor Day efforts and we will be back with new ideas, new plantings and renewing our campaign in 2022. Nothing stops a good idea and celebrating an Arbor Day in the UK is a very good idea. Trees and those that care for trees deserve recognition as they are so important, not just in the UK, but around the world. The time for trees is now.